in the end, it's it's not a it's not a, a clash of of race. It's a clash of of um, social strata, you know, of of different social levels within society and and access to resources. It's it's an economic um, situation that we're facing. And racism is just one means of of exploiting people uh, to to make it possible. So other es ethnic uh, groups um, are natural allies anyway, as as long as they have have um, similar agendas. Herzlich willkommen bei Afrotag TV Cybernomads. Hauptstadt Magazine, Lifestyle, Fashion, Education, Media, Art and Postcolonial Theory. My name is Adetan Kupasa Debussy. Hello and welcome to our State of Affairs portion of the program where we're very pleased to be joined by Michael or Michael Coopers out of BC. Michael, welcome back to the Collegium. Thank you too much. Michael, when we, when we last left this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this show, you were discussing some very interesting issues about resource dispersion. The problem that, that we're facing as a, as a community on, on a global um, scale is that we don't really connect as much as we can because the network is still, the media network, the, the, the economic network is still working through wide channels mostly. So I don't think it's a, it's a question of the resources not being there. It's, it's a question of connectivity and that's part of what you're doing, that's part of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, with the with the media distribution of, of knowledge and resources, the software and and uh, um, education are mostly in the West or in the East Bloc countries. I don't quite agree with it anymore. The diaspora that is that is distributed worldwide is part of the African continent anyway. Two thirds of what is is going to Africa in development aid. Is, is being dispersed by the African diaspora back to, back to the continent. And with the African diaspora forming the, the, sixth, con uh, the sixth continent now and accepting the diaspora back into, into the African community, they have made a major step. Actually, we have an African diaspora, African Union here in, in Germany now as well. And how do we, we then facilitate the networking so that we can be as certain as possible that the resources are being shared as optimally as possible. You know, we have to, we have to make, sure, make sure that our children have access back to, to one of our major projects, the Encyclopedica, Encyclopedica uh, Black Germanica, mm -hmm. where we try to document everything and anything connected to the diaspora in Germany that has been achieved up till now. Mm -hmm. You know, our productions of books, of DVDs, of our online TV channel, all this is part of the encyclo encyclopedia. And if, if uh, we as individuals go steps forward, it doesn't necessarily mean the community as a whole is making that step forward, unless we make sure that all this knowledge is distributed even. What areas of the world are you interested in? Think locally and act globally, you know. I think it's very important to always be conscious of, of our spiritual input where we come from. Major um, mover of things for, for a very long time, the Jamaican diaspora, has been a mover of things for a very long time because they put the soul back into into uh, contemporary um, productions on a media level. We just we just uh, finished um, um, a short uh, history of black music in Germany as a, as an agent of political change 
you know, from, from Nazi times until to contemporary times. It's, it's all part of, of a big unity. The physical world is, is one part to overcome in, in the present time. But if we, do, if we become too much part of the system in, o in order to overcome it, we are in a paradoxical situation then we are the system that we are trying to overcome mm -hmm. simultaneously. How does it affect the issue of spirituality, materialism, or affluence? I mean, Bob Marley, survival. We're all survivors in, 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 a, in a system that is striving to make it impossible for us. But as Malcolm X said, the, the pimp is very predictable, the prostitute is very predictable. What is not predictable is the, is the black PhD. We just did a research on how um, how are black people in Germany, how they are being paid, how, how much uh, less they are being paid for the same job with the same qualifications or even better qualifications, uh, how much harder it is to, to get into jobs in the first place. And it's happening all over, you know. It's, it's happening against all odds all the time. And, and I think that's a very, very um, bright outlook for the future. We're, we're losing our, our people on, on, on the ocean trying to get into, into Europe, into the fortress Europe. We're, we're, losing, we're losing our history continuously by, by uh, our archives being destroyed and, and still we, we're still surviving. So I think with the new media possibilities and, and new, new possibilities of distributing knowledge and, and um, networking on, on a new scale, they will have to look out quite some in order to, to keep the movement back. But are we not also progressing? Modern times are a very, very keen phenomena in, in, the, in the sense that we live in, in different times at the same time a history of, of propaganda, of cultural propaganda, infiltrating the minds for, for centuries now. At the same time, you have knowledge crossing uh, around the Black Atlantic, being distributed uh, in the diasporas. You have, uh, you have certain nations that are prospering, even in Africa. You have the, the new mo mobile telecommunication system mm -hmm. that is making it possible for medical advancements, for, for people being uh, tailor diagnosed at some point all those parallel worlds come together and that is points like Fukushima where atomic power is uh, destroying the the planet on such a large scale or the the phenomena now in Germany with e e EHC uh, this virus that is going into food so are we progressing um, I think that is a question that has to be answered from the future that can't be answered from the present if we come to a point where humanity as a whole can't live on the planet anymore, contemporary time is really the measurement anymore because it has become so obvious that um, what the system has been doing is wrong. The resources are becoming so scarce for everybody, not just for black people or for, for, for people of color, but for everybody so that something is about to happen. A major focus of what we do is to, to organize, structurize, inventorize uh, the knowledge and the resources, the expertise, the, the people with expertise uh, within the community so that we as a people can grow stronger as well. Because only if we're strong, we can really have allies. The progress will be measured by the survivors, like always. Hope basically is, is something very sim similar for me, like vision. Mm -hmm. And as long as there's a vision, there's hope. And I think there will be hope un un until humanity is gone. What is the relationship between hope and spirituality and then we bring in the equation of facts on what we study. Spirituality is, if you, if you take it from, from an African philosophical perspective, 
um, it's it's um, a, the science of of how to cultivate um, your soul, your mind, yourself as a holis holistic being. It's basically what you do intellectually on a on an academic scale, mm -hmm. and all this brought together. You, you said facts. Um, all this brought together is is the is the possibility for an analysis that will, will enable you to to grasp what is going on, and once you grasp what is going on, certain steps are are like um, well the next natural step to to take. And in this way, I like I like what they say in the Matrix. Um, you know, you remember the situation where where um, where they uh, shift him through the matrix for the first time, and he's in, in within all these people, and um, he turns around because he sees that woman in the red dress, mm -hmm. and then he turns around, and all of a sudden he has that gun on his head, and then Morpheus explains to him very interesting situation if you go back to African American um, imagery, because basically Morpheus is is uh, uh, when he breaks from the chains, it's it's like um, it's like um, those images from the twenties, from the Harlem Renaissance, um, um, breaking free from slavery. But at the same time, he says, "Okay, you have you have only people against you or with you. There's nothing in between. So anybody who is not making those necessary steps to understand the situation, to contextualize him herself as an individual within a more global perspective." Is basically failing uh, to become a, an agent of of change, and who is not an agent of change is against those who are. Michael, I think that you have come up with an equation that offers proof positive that we have the possibilities to make it, survive, and to prosper. Thank you too much, but I have to refuse that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the Collegium, Michael. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure.